Hi there, Dominic here, and I'll be introduci introducing you to the Scatter Clone tool found on the Duplicate tab, Scatter Clone. When I right click, I have Scatter Clone, Instance Scatter, Replica Scatter, Transform Scatter. So they are all, they are all very similar, but the Scatter Clone tool makes clones, actual geometry that is. Instance Scatter makes instances and Replica Scatter makes replicas. If you want to know the difference between replicas and instances, I suggest you go through the manual. I'll be showing you the Scatter Clone tool, so the rest of them are pretty much the same. I'm going to zoom out a bit, click in the viewport. Right now I have a point cloud of clones with a count of 5. This means I have my original one and I have 4 clones. I can increase that like so. I'm going to leave that 5 for interactive, more interactive responsiveness. I can give it a different seat for randomizing the point cloud. I can adjust the centers with these handles or I can set them numerically over here like so I can change the range, the range in X, Y and Z numerically over here or I can drag the sliders over here to adjust the range like that I can give it random scaling in X Y and Z and I can give it a random rotation also X Y and Z like so so this uh, I can replace source so then my original becomes part of the point cloud I can invert polygons if I have to and I can merge vertices and then set a merge distance over here and the source of the point cloud I can set it to active meshes so my active mesh item will be cloned I can set it to a specific mesh and then I can set in mesh item choose a specific mesh I can set it to all background layers random background layer and preset shape preset shape if I were to press F6 on my keyboard I go to my preset manager and in profiles I can choose a profile and then I can set it to a preset shape and then my point client will be all curves from the profiles so experiment with that I'm gonna leave it at active meshes so fun tool to play around with now I set my count to 30 I'm going to decrease the scaling a bit like that fun tool to randomize a point cloud of clones so drop the tool so as I've said you have scatter clone you can when you choose instant scatter you can do exactly the same thing exact except you can also clone hierarchies and instead of being actual geometry they will be instances <coughs> they will be instances and you have the replica scatter so again the same as the scatter clone but you will create replicas hope you find it useful and bye for now this was Dominic